Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself, Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin today's class. I have a lot to inform you about. So let's quickly begin today's class. Guys, here is our mobile application. I hope all of you are aware of the this application because here we have a lot of new features like past years, topper strategy, video sessions ke update hote hai, strategy ke hai, daily ji ke hai. So a lot is there for all of you to no, so download this application and, and explore it on your own. And I hope all of you are aware of the channels through which you can contact us. This is our mobile number. This is our main website and this is our email address. In case you have any query in your preparation or you have any kind of academic query, you can use either of these two channels or you can also use the discussions.mlgeneral.info which we have launched specially to cater to your queries and if you are using that forum then you must have noticed that within 24 hours you get your reply. So what a faster medium can be if it is not discussions forum. So try to use it in case you have any query or you want to connect with us better. Okay. Now let's begin with the first question but yeah. I remember guys that I have already provided you the PDF of this session on the telegram channel so download the pdf and watch the session together or you can also download the pdf for your later purposes okay like revising the content which i am going to tell you here okay so the very first question uh, if you are a regular student of mine then this would be a little bit of the track question for you or a new pattern of question that has been introduced here but again as i always say to my uh, students that you all need to prepare from all sides because you don't know what is there in the examiner's mind okay so you don't know what kind of a what pattern the examiner will choose to make your questions and this kind of a pattern is followed in upsc and rbi is also following the footsteps of U upsc gradually which we have seen Firstly, RBI introduced the descriptive in the phase two, then RBI had increased the level of questions and RBI had also introduced the statement based questions in your general awareness. So these are all the evidences that RBI wants to match the level of UPSC, although not exactly be at par with the level of UPSC examination, but yes, gradually it is uh, reaching near the UPSC's level of difficulty. Okay, so we have to also prepare from that angle and you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to put any effort other than watching this video and following the spotlight magazine. Okay, because I'm doing the back end work for all of you. You just need to be there present and watch the video and also share it among your friends who are preparing. Okay. So, you have to choose the correct number of pairs from the options given below. So here we have the SAGE portal, Ministry of Health is given in front of it, Sacred portal, GDAM portal, Shrijan portal and Khanan Prahari portal. Okay, so these are the portals, these are the ministries. How many pairs are correct? Okay, so understand this point guys, it is not asking you that which pair is correct. It is asking you how many pairs are correct. Okay, choose the correct number of pairs okay so how many pairs are correct from these options if you are preparing diligently then you would have prepared from the portals from the government schemes and you would be able to answer this question correctly and if you are not preparing seriously then guys this is the eye opener for all of you this is the reality check take it and start preparing because this is going to be the level of rbi grade b phase one also Okay, so phase two, you can't think about what the level is going to be, so start preparing. Now, as far as the answer of this question is concerned, so the right answer is option B. Two pairs are correct. First is this, green, uh, green day ahead market portal, which is GDAM portal, and it has been launched by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Then we have Khanan Prahari portal, which has been recently launched by the Ministry of Coal. So this is, guys, the news. And from this news, this type of a question has been made. Now let's see the news in detail. Then I will also describe you the details of all these portals, okay? 
Okay, so the very first thing is that Khanan Prahari mobile application has been launched. It is not a website portal, but a mobile application. But along with this mobile application, we have one more website portal, which is this coal mine surveillance and management system portal. Now, both of these portals, basically the website and the mobile application are going to check on the illegal mining activities. Okay, so that's the basic idea. So the people who want to report the unauthorized coal mining, they can do so now by using the mobile application and the website. Okay, now is the time for having the portal. So first portal is the SAGE portal. So SAGE stands for Senior Care Aging Growth Engine. So it was launched by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. 2021 is the year of launch and the purpose of this portal is to uh, present a one-stop access of elderly care products and services by the credible, uh, credible startups. So this SAGE portal is basically a portal where the startups can put their products and those products would specifically cater to the needs of the elderly population. Okay. We have on the similar concept two very important and very famous portals. First is the GEM portal, Government e Marketplace. So on the similar lines of the GEM portal, this SAGE portal has been launched okay in gem what happens the msmes get the opportunity to display their products and from there the government departments order the products similarly in the sage portal the startups are going to manifest their products and the people are going to buy from it okay so that is the one thing one more thing that i want to highlight because we are talking about the elderly people so i hope all of you know that we are soon going to become a silver economy not very soon but definitely by 2050 we are going to have a major proportion of the older population why because our tfr total fertility rate is 2.0 as per the nfhs5 okay and the implication of this is that now the people who are getting older and the new generation who are replacing those older people who are either getting old or are dying that is now in proportion but slowly and gradually it may reduce because we are seeing that nowadays at least in the urban centers the people are not preferring to either marry or have a child okay so this is going to definitely have a bearing on the overall demographic dividend of our nation and then we have more and more older people and even if we don't take TFR into account, then also the older population is expected to increase as a, as a total percentage of our population. Okay, so why am I telling you all these facts? The reason is that there is a term specifically associated with the economy for the older people. And that term is silver economy. Okay. So do remember this term, silver economy refers to the economy where consumption, production and marketing and everything is derived and based on the needs of the older people. Okay? Now the next portal is again related to the older people, uh, sacred, senior, able citizens for re-employment and dignity. Again. Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment 2021 is the year. I hope this is clearly visible. Then the purpose of the sacred portal is to devise ways to ensure citizen, senior citizens like uh, to ensure ways in which senior citizens can live their life healthily, happily, empoweredly and dignified and self-reliant life okay so in order to ensure the, the these many qualities in the lives of the older people sacred portal has been launched by the ministry of social justice and empowerment okay now we have seen two portals of the ministry can any one of you tell me the name of the minister of this ministry the next portal is gdam that is green day ahead market so this portal is basically for the trading of renewable energy okay and it is under the ministry of power 2021 is the year and it enables the electricity generation and distribution companies 
to buy and sell renewable energy through open access okay last is shrijan uh, portal of ministry of defense which was launched in 2020 and the purpose of this is to partner the private sector in indigenization efforts of the defense public sector undertakings and the armed forces okay now guys we are talking about defense so aero india which is our defense exhibition its 14th edition was recently held in bangalore it is uh, conducted in bangalore and what is the theme of this event this is guys your task do mention it in the comment section below uh one more thing that along with the aero india show and uh, aero india exhibition we have the defense ministers conclave as well which was also organized in bangalore and it was headed by the defense minister rajnath singh okay so that fact is also important do remember okay so we have question number 2 controller and auditor general of india is hosting the dash Shanghai Cooperation Organization Supreme Audit Institution Leaders Meeting in Dash. Out of the eight SEO SAI members, the heads of uh, the heads of SAI from four countries: Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Uzbekistan, alongside the CAG of India, are expected to take part in the three-day multilateral event. The event was organized on the theme of integrating. Emerge, emerging technologies in audit during the event india signed two mous with the sai of dash and dash to strengthen the cooperation in the field of audit so here again a very difficult and a new pattern of question in front of you so now let's see the answer so here guys the right answer is option d sixth edition of the seo meeting was organized in lucknow and with kazakhstan and tajikistan india has signed two mous okay one each with these countries okay so that is all about the news because the entire news is there in the question itself so you must have gathered the information you must have paid the uh, attention to the question itself now let me repeat the important facts here first is Sixth Shanghai Cooperation Organization Supreme Audit Institutions meeting was organized in Lucknow. First fact is important. Second is the theme that is integrating the new technologies, emerging technologies in audit. ठीक है? And third is the MOUs with Kazakhstan and Tajikistan. Okay. Now guys, how many members are there in SCO? So we have eight members. in seo and i know that there is a doubt in your mind that iran was given the acceptance or approval to be a part of the seo then why do we say that there are only eight members in the seo guys the approval was given but right now the iran country has not been included into the seo as a member country okay so that is the thing maybe some formalities were there that is why the iran that is why iran has not been given the status as of now but yes approval was given to iran to become the ninth member of seo theek hai so uh, let's move on to the next fact uh, now guys related to seo i have three questions from all of you and i expect my students to give the answers of those questions first question is the year of establishment of seo second is the headquarters of seo and the third is the number members the name of all the members majority of the members were written in the previous slide but i expect the students to tell me the name of the other remaining members as well okay so that it will act as a revision for all of you now the interesting facts related to the controller and auditor general of india because we need to expand our horizon of knowledge so let's have a look at this as well so article 148 of the indian constitution provides for the establishment of the controller and auditor general of india as well theek hai then we have article 149 which tells us the duties and responsibilities of the cag so 148 and 149 these two are the important articles and these two are the articles which are telling us about the controller and auditor general of india theek hai 
then the tenure of an auditor general is either of 6 years or 65 years of age whichever is early okay similarly it happens in the case of supreme court judges as well and majority of the statutory bodies run on this tenure basis only okay now who is this person Andaza to laga hi liya hoga from the slide. So he is the present controller and auditor general of India. Girish Chandra Murmu, who was previously the chairman of NABAD. Now K. Shaji is the chairman and Girish Chandra Murmu has been given the responsibility of the office of CAG. Okay? And he was appointed in the year 2020 only. So currently he is going to uh, remain in the office for at least two to three more years. Okay. Uh, because six years is the tenure or until or unless he achieves 65 years of age. The next question is. India is planning to launch a global initiative called MIRA or Millet International Initiative for Research and Awareness for Global Coordination of Millet Research uh, Programs. India will contribute the initial money for MIRA initiative while each G20 member will later have to contribute to its budget in the form of a membership fee. The Indian Institute of Military Research in Dash will be supported as a center of excellence for sharing the best practices, research and technologies at the international level. Okay. So now we have again a very important initiative. First of all, pay attention to this fact that India is planning to launch this global initiative and where will India launch it? It is planned to be launched in the G20 summit. Okay. Now the question asks you basically the headquarters or the location of this institution and for knowing the location, this much big of a paragraph has been given to all of you. So Hyderabad here is the right answer. This institution is located in Hyderabad. Now let's know about this initiative a little more. So at present, we have not been given much details about the MIRA initiative because the government in itself planning the initiative. Okay. So at present, what initiative, uh, what information do we have? First is the full form of MIRA. Do remember the full form because a question can be created out of the full form as well. So Millet International Initiative for Research and Awareness for Global Coordination of Millet Research Programs. Okay. So Mira ke full form yahi tak hai. So do remember the full form. Now guys, we are talking about the Millets. I hope all of you know that 2023 is the year of international Millets. Okay. International year of Millets. Okay, so this we have read that India is going to pay the initial money for the operational costs of the MIRA. Similarly, India had given the initial money for the ISA and CDRI also. CDRI is Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure. ISA is International Solar Alliance. And if this organization comes into effect, then obviously India is going to pay for the initial operational cost for the organization to run because initially when a country proposes any international organization the country has to bear the burden of the cost gradually the uh, other countries join that organization okay so now okay so i have just taught you about the isa and cdri so can anyone of you tell me which is the latest country to join the isa okay this question i have taught you some days back so i expect my students to tell me the answer now coming back to this news, so I guess we have read everything related to it. One last thing, which is of very much importance and that is the Secretariat, which is going to be located in Delhi. How much is the total pulse production estimate for 2022 to 2023? So here guys, uh, Okay, so here, what is the right answer? The right answer is 278.10 lakh ton. Okay, so, uh, uh, yeah, let's begin with the news itself. So, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare has released the second advance estimate of the production of major crops for the year. 
2022 to 2023 okay so the year which is going on which is going to end on march 31st for that year we have to set in the advance estimates now if your examination is not coming near then don't remember it as far as my knowledge is concerned so ifsa if sca's examination has been announced and in this examination the current affairs of national and international uh, e events uh, the current affairs uh, from the national and international news are important so this is also a part of your national news okay so do prepare this question because you never know whether the examiner will ask a question out of this as well okay uh, although the examiner would not go at least this first this examiner would not go into each of these grades because this is the international financial services center's authorities examination so why would it go into agriculture but still to be on a safer side why not prepare the major crops the total food grains the pulses and rice wheat ka ho gaya then we have oil seed so you need to prepare all these major crops and their estimates apart from this don't try to mug up each and every crop at this moment of time okay because at this point of time you don't have any major exam like rbs and nabat okay now you can clearly see the total estimations okay so now it is visible so the total food grain estimate is 3 uh, 3235.454 lakh ton okay so this much is going to be the uh, production of the total food grains okay now for the wheat and for the rice these are going to be the production okay total production in this year now one more thing do remember that the estimates come very uh, uh, frequently so you may have the third and the fourth advance estimate for the agricultural crops as well in the next year in the from april 1st onwards so don't uh, just think that this is the final estimate this is not the final estimate okay so rice and wheat ka this much is the estimate and these are the record estimates now apart from this the other thing of importance is total pulses so total pulses 278.10 lakh tons then we have the oil seeds 400.01 lakh tons and we have one very important mission that is national mission for the oil seeds uh, and uh, edible oil seeds with a focus on edible oil seeds so this mission is very very important and in light of this mission when we have the national mission for the oil seed production this production estimate is very very important until or unless the a new production estimate uh, estimate come up this one, this one is the very important estimate then we have ground nuts so have been rap seed and mustard these three come under the oil seed category only so uh combining these three we have this much of the this much as the total oil seed production last but not the least cotton sugar cane and jute and mesta so these are the forecast for these three crops as well now guys don't worry about the numbers because i'm going to give you the pdf so from pdf you can uh, see these numbers last question of the day is that dash World Hindi Conference, that is Vishwa Hindi Sammelan, is being organized in Nadi, Fiji, from February 15 to 17 by the Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India, in association with the Government of Dash. So this question is a little bit erroneous, erroneous, but nevertheless we have one very important thing that is the edition. So twelfth edition of this. World Hindi Conference was organized, and Fiji is the place where this was organized. Okay, with the government of Fiji. Now, uh, the theme of it was Hindi traditional knowledge to artificial intelligence. Okay, Hindi is one of our official languages, and we have twenty-two official languages in India. Schedule eight of our constitution provides for the twenty-two scheduled languages of India. Okay, so let's have some facts related to Fiji as well. So the capital of Fiji is Suva. Dollar is the currency. English 
Fiji Hindi and Fijian is the uh, these three are the languages of Fiji. Okay. Then the Republic of Fiji is an island country in Mel Melanesia, a part of Oceania in the South Pacific Ocean. So let me just show you. You will better understand it. Okay. So this is guys your Oceania region. Okay. In the Pacific Ocean and in Oceania region we have three regions. Okay. Micronesia, Melanesia and uh, uh, I don't remember the other name, Polynesia, yeah. So we have three subcategories within the o uh, Oceania continent. So this, uh, this particular country comes under the Melanesia region, okay. And this is very important for all of you to know as well. So this is Fiji, here is Australia, here is New Zealand. So you can approximate the location of Fiji. Now the last and the most important fact related to Fiji is that it is a part of the Forum for India-Pacific Island Cooperation, which is a cooperation of India and 14 Pacific Island nations, including Fiji. Although the meetings of this forum does not uh, are not conducted very frequently, and this forum has now become a little, I would say, dead because the meetings are not happening, the collaborations and nothing is happening in this forum that is why we can say that the forum is not active as of now but nonetheless it is a part of this forum and this forum has 14 pacific island nations this is a very important fact for all of you to know so here guys the video ends i hope you have enjoyed the content provided by me in case you have any feedback any complaint any positive feedback you can provide us in the comment section or on the WhatsApp channel and please yaar, answer kya karo questions ka in the comment section. I really appreciate the people who mention their answers in the comment section and please, jo nahi kar rahe hai, wo at least answer karo comment section mein aur agar comment section mein answer nahi bhi karna hai, to dhunda zarur karo un questions ko jo mein aap se poochti hu during the video. Why? Because then you indulge in any activity, the higher are the chances that you would retain those facts for a longer period of time. Okay, so on that note, I would like to say goodbye to all of you. Thank you so much guys for watching the video.